Let's rewind all the way back to the beginning of this game. You guys were able to knock out Lucas Giolito after four innings. How were you able to elevate his pitch count so much? Yeah, we had a really good plan, you know, before the game, and we all stay with that plan. You know, he, he's, a, he's a really good pitcher, but we were just trying to look for our pitch and don't try to, see, to swim balls, you know, and I think that's how we beat him. And we can't get out of here without talking about the performance of Nestor Cortez. Six strong innings. That's the most pitches he has ever thrown in a major league game. What stood out to you about the way he was throwing the ball? Oh, my God. He's been doing a really good job. You know, the last couple of games he's been pitching, he's been doing a really good job. He's been giving the 100% that he got. And he, today he did it again. And he didn't. I got no words to, to, to explain how good he's been pitching. This team has been getting it done, winning 10 out of your last 11 series, and it looks like there's even more help on the way with Cole and Montgomery likely coming back this upcoming week. Do you get even more excited thinking about the possibilities of this team? Yeah, I mean, we've been playing game by game, by game, by game you know, like we, we don't worry about what happened the day before. We, 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 we're ready to play the, the, the game that we got every day, and that's how we've been doing it. Rick Ned, thanks for the time. Thank you. We'll take a look at some of these notes courtesy of Toyota. Yankees have won 10 of their last 11 series. As Jack mentioned, they're 23 and 11 since July 6th. That's the best record in the majors. They're 19 and 9 since the All-Star break, best in the American League. And now 13 games over 500. First time this season and first time since 2019. Couple